Testimonials. Every time I think of a testimonial, I think of Mad Max Fury Road, the movie, and Witness Me. Yes, testimonials are a very popular element that is used on many business websites. It gives credence to your site by having people say, hey, we really like you. We really dig you. We say yes, so please come here. We like it too. Let's have a look at the testimonial element by Crocoblock Jet Elements that you can add on to your Elementor page builder. You will find that here in the Elementor editor on the left and you scroll down until you find Jet Elements and then you can find testimonials over here. Of course, the easier way is you have to know what you're looking for and then just typing it in testimonials and you can see there are actually two this is the one that comes with Elementor and then here is the one by Crocoblock in their Jet Elements add-on. Let's add this and let's style around and play around and see what we can do with this testimonial widget. Now a testimonial widget just like a person's widget or a group or a team member widget is actually just a combination of many different kinds of other elements like a image element, a heading, a button and a text element. It's just something that makes it and speeds up your workflow. It makes it easier. But essentially, at the end of the day, it is not something unique. It is just a shortcut. And the idea behind a shortcut is to make things much more easier. So if you look at the standard one that we've dragged in here, you can immediately see it is a slider. It's sliding from right to left. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six, well, items in here, and it's going to be testimonials. But you can also understand immediately, you don't have to use this for a testimonial. You can use it for something like a team member or a staff group or anything else there you want to display people. Before we look at this, what I want to do is go into the items so that we can style one of these items. And what I like to do is I like to only work with one item and then duplicate it so that I don't have to format each and every one separately. So I'm going to delete these. And I if yeah, there we go all the way just down to one item. So let's begin by styling this and look at the components that are within this element and item. There's an image, and if we are talking about a testimonial, of course, we want to bring in an image of a customer or somebody that is supporting us. I click on that. Let's choose this girl over here. Beautiful color scheme. I love it. Orange hair or red hair, ginger hair, and a good background as well. The next one is a quote. So, of course, what this customer is going to do is give us a quote. And you can decide, do you want to use the icon? I'm probably going to say that I don't want to use the icon. So I'm going to remove that. I don't want the icon in there. You have the option to do that. Then here, the comment is what they are going to be saying about my business. And I'm just going to leave that random text there. That will be the common comment. Do I want to give this person a title? I don't think so. And that's why you may get confused when you see the title. You may think it's like something for a team members or a staff. No, um, this is a testimonial. But if you want to give the person a title like CEO director of unlimitedfund.com, something like that, then you can add the title in there if you want to. On the other hand, you can just give her a name, Mary Scott, Mary Scott. Uh, Mike Oldfield. Anyway, so Mary Scott, let's leave that there. Position, founder and amp of CEO. Again, if you want to leave the position there, I'm not entirely sure. And the date, if you want to leave a date in there, I'm not going to go for the date. Uh, for me, a date in a testimonial is a little strange affair. So I'm not going to play around with the date. So the position and title, very interesting. So is it the title of the comment or is it the title like you're, you're a CEO? Because position, there we have it. Right, so basically you get two areas to add text. You can decide what you want to do with that. Let's go and put this in the order that we want. And this is something that you find a lot from Jet Elements. You find it under style and you'll always find it here at the bottom, content, order and alignment. I want to bring my my comment, my testimonial, I want to bring it to the bottom. So that is description order. And you will see it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play around with it. I'm just going to increase the number. And as I increase it, you'll see it will move down.
So at least I've got that one now there where I want it to be. Let's, before we start with any of the styling, let's go look now at our settings. And before we can do that, we need to have at least three people giving us their testimonials. So I'm going to duplicate this. Oops, duplicate. Oh, duplicate. Let's go to item two. Let's just change the picture here. And let's call him Bob. Bob Bobber. And then for item three, the in-house cat. This one is called Rocco. Yeah, that is actually one of these felines that eat up all my money. Okay, so these are the three testimonials. Let's add one more testimonial to give it a little bit of... Interesting, it changed Rocco. Let me change title. Oh, that's why. Okay, not name. Rocco. Go back to item four. And let's give this also... Uh, let's use this lady over here. Uh, Maria Duval, while we are on interesting names, Maria Duval. Okay, so we've got four items now here, and you can see they are switching here from the right to the left as they auto play. Let's go around and play with the settings, and this is where you can make things very interesting. You can have more than one testimonial at a time. I'm going to put this one on two, and then two people will appear there at the same time. You can also add it to three. Of course, you can add as many as you want. I actually like three at this moment, and then you'll have to add more. Now, what you will notice is that with the transition every time, it only moves one, one, one. Now, Maria, ah, let me just go back to items. What I did here is I clicked on items. So you see it brought in the standard default setting, not my formatting. So don't make that mistake, delete it duplicate the previous one. Let's put Maria again in there. Maria, Maria, not title. Mm, on the West Side Story, Maria Duval. Okay. Hmm. Now it should be okay. Right, let's go back to our settings. So we've got three and it is moving every time just by one. So Rocco over here is going to move to the left with the next one and then one. We can increase that increment. So if I select over here, slides to scroll to two, now you will see that Bob, Bobber or Rocco now will move two positions over here. Come Rocco, there you go. So you can choose that. And if you put it on three, the whole entire row will shuffle and you will get a new group. So I like the two, gives you a little bit of movement, but it doesn't take too long. I like pause to hover so that if you see suddenly someone there and you want to know more and you hover over it, then the, the, uh, the, the scrolling will stop. I like that. Autoplay, yes, leave that on. And autoplay speed, 5,000 milliseconds. Astrophysicist's nightmare. We talk about 5,000 milliseconds as five seconds. That's it. So every one, two, three, four, five, yes, and then it will move. Infinite loop, we leave that on. Adaptive height, let's switch that off. And adaptive height, I've not really seen what it does. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, not much. If you want to have arrows here on the side, you can add in your show arrows navigation. Now you've got arrows. And then, of course, you have also dots navigation here at the bottom. The big thing comes in always at the end of the day with your styling, which is your personal styling. You can have equal items height. Yes, then things will display equally. At this moment, in my opinion, they do explain uh, display equally. This is interesting. Let me just go and see quickly what does this mean. I'm going to take this and let's just add one more there. Go back to our styling. You see, so we have this. If I add this now, will it make any changes? Nah, nah, not going to make much changes to that. But I guess if we add more stuff here, they're all going to be more or less the same height. That's what we want to get with this equal items height. Image, you can go and play around with the image. You can make the image like bigger. You can give it a border radius. You can give it a shadow. You can even align it differently. So there's going to be a lot of this that you can play around with. Then with the arrows, this is your normal styling. You can change the type of arrows, the colors, same with the dots. 
and with the icon again same thing and then your normal settings that you can have for your title the descriptions one thing that i would like to point out you know here it says comment i'll criticize this part because over here it says description order but over here it says comment i would like to have a little bit of uniformity that i don't get confused with what is what um what i want to show you here is the comment the width so if your text i'll give you an example let's go to settings slow slides to show one only one at a time now it's it's really narrow maybe you want to make that bigger go to comment and then you can increase it like this okay that is your comment i want to make the color that's our comment and there's the dog barking typical right let's hope she doesn't go and bark too crazy out there um background so the comment name the position the date i want to go back to the comment and just look at the color background type here that's what i'm looking for and that's what i want to do there okay so now it's gone so now i can go to my color of the comment type and add it and why has it not oh this is the strangest thing you have to click drag it down and click here not click out of it otherwise it won't activate it see it's already starting to look much better like a typical testimonial that we are used to let's go back to the image reduce the size again to there okay that's looking good and then we change the color that was the position let's go change the color of the position okay good and our testimonial is looking pretty nice like i said you have some nice features over here on the content with the settings how many you want to display how often you want it to move how many do you want to move at a time and then over here add your items like i did that i highly recommend do not use add item over here style one and then duplicate it because you're going to do all your styling and after you've done that and you add it it's going to look different you can however if i'm pretty sure you can do the copy and the paste style but remember it may not work within a widget it's only going to be working on another widget it's not going to copy and paste the item style it's only going to copy the entire widget style and you can apply it to another widget so just be aware of that style one of your items or at least do the content and everything you want in here and then duplicate it and that's the testimonials widget from crocoblock a very nice one for an add-on to your elementor